Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to talk about icons within SAP ERP and SAP S4 HANA. So in this video, I would like to explain how you can get an overview of icons, how you can get the internal ID of icons and how you can use them properly in ABAP. Enjoy this video and let's get started. The easiest way to get an overview of all the existing icons within the SAP system is to call a transaction code and it's the transaction code ICON. It's simple as that is. <laughs> um, for example, if we have a look into the transaction SE93 and we have a look in ICON, then we can see that basically the maintenance view is being called. So with the transaction code SM30 with the view name view underscore ICON. So basically, if you really would like to get an overview quickly, just type an ICON within the command field, then you are here. And now you have an overview of the existing icons within the SAP system. So you, if you want, you can double click and there you get the detailed information of one specific icon and so on. Um, there are a couple of more steps. I think one also really important way to get an overview of all the existing icons is a specific database table. It's the table icon T, for example. If we open up the data browser with the transaction code SE16N and then we type in icon T, then here we can see that for this table, if we execute it, there we open up the text table of the icons for one specific language. So for example, if we would like to display all the icons with the English text and the tooltip, then over here you get a nice overview. If we, for example, open the table just icon, then also you can get an overview of all the existing icons within the SAP system. And I think this is the most easiest way to get all the detailed information of the existing icons. And if you want to, of course, you can also open up a specific report. So for example, you can open up show icon and then we execute it. Then for example, you can sort them according to attributes, just execute. Then this is another way how you can get an overview or if we go in a couple of steps back, it's the RSTX icon. Uh, it's also a report and here, for example, we would get like an overview of the icons as ABAP list, for example. This is also one easy way to use the icons within the SAP system. Of course, you can use the long text, but some cases you would like to get to know the internal ID of one icon. So to do this, there we open up once again the table icon, then execute the search. And here we have the internal format, the internal ID. And for example, if I open up Notepad, then I would like to show you, for example, if we would like to get the internal ID of this icon checked. So this is the name. We will see in a couple of seconds how you can use this name in the programming language ABAP. But at some point you, ne you need to have the internal ID. And to do this, there you click in the cell in the column internal format and then using control C to copy it. And then we I have opened up the notepad and then you're using control V to paste it in. And here you have also the internal format of this icon with starting with an at ending with an at as underscore okay this is also a nice way how you can get it of course you want to use the icons in different scenarios within the sap system or they're currently in use um, as we see right here here we're seeing a specific icon to change between the modes so if we would like to change to the change mode then we have to click on this button in the toolbar and there are also some other icons currently in use and there are five different possibilities where these icons 
can be used and to check check to uh, what kind of scenario you are allowed and able to use an icon you can once again open up the transaction code icon you can also open up the table icon and then for example double click on one entry so for example i just want to open up the icon dummy icon and over here we can see these five possibilities so you can use for example this icon as a push button as a status display as a message as a function key or as a keyword and over here if you are not sure if you're allowed if you're able to use a specific icon over there you get the detailed information of this icon where you can use it and of course if we open up once again the data browser with the table and then for example the icon dummy f8 over here we can also see these kind of information so once again as a push button as a status display as a message as a function key or as a keyword so same information available over here so here we have one simple abap program to display or to use specific icons so for example if i execute this report then right here we're seeing two times the exact same icon shown in this case it's the icon checked and for example if we open up once again the data browser and the table icon and then we're searching for the icon checked executed and then copy this then we can see that the internal format the eternal id is s underscore okay but here we see one different format and this is important because here if you want to use the icon within the write statement of course you have to use the addition s icon but here it's not s underscore dummy it's not s underscore okay it's this at zero one at and that's the case because you have to use the name of this icon or the ascii format and to get to know the ascii format of one icon then you can just use the forward navigation for the name so when you use it within the upper coding then double click on this and then here we can see the ascii format because here in the type root icon there we can see the linkage between the name and the ascii format so this is important to know to use it within the write statement so here we have one additional example here i am using the icon system save icon within a button within a push button so here right now i define one push button and i am using the save doc within uh, save doc icon uh, within this button and the save doc is assigned to one specific icon and the text save and if we are executing this report then we can see the output so right here we can see this save icon and the text save right there if you want to have it a little bit easier and to have almost the exact same output, you can also use the function module icon underscore create as you see right here. So basically I'm almost doing the exact same as we saw a couple of seconds earlier. Here right now I have one selection screen. I'm defining a push button and I'm using the content of this button as save underscore doc. And right now here, I would like to assign the save doc to the icon system save and the text save as well with the function module icon create. And when I hit the F8 key to output the report, then I can also see the push button with this icon and the text save right here. And last but not least, <laughs> the exact same output with a different procedure. 
here I am once again defining a push button uh, with the content, so with the icon and the text save underscore doc. And right here I would like to write this icon to the content to the save underscore doc. And I also want to add one content, so basically a save content. And when I execute it, then you're seeing exactly the same output as you saw earlier. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video and learned a lot about icons within the SAP system. If you like the video, please hit the like button, add a comment and do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you very much for your amazing support and then see you in the next video.